Here are 10 tips to surviving your first breakup. Tip number one, cry all you want. It's okay to cry. It's okay to let the tears flow. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to be angry. It's okay to be upset. Just don't stay that way. It's okay to be upset at the person who broke your heart. It's okay to lie down in bed and cry. Cry, eat a bunch of ice cream and cry. Let it all out, let it all out. And then get back up and be strong again. Because you're getting out a lot of junk. You're letting go of a lot of junk. So it's okay to cry, let it all out, cry. Let out the pain, let out the anger, let out your, your, um, your rage, whatever. let it out. Let it out through tears, write it out, write it down, write it on your journal. It's okay to cry, just don't stay that way. Tip number two, do something every day to help yourself heal. Read, read some self-help books, watch some motivational videos, right? Um, go out with your friends, hang out, exercise, go to the gym. Do things that you know that will be fun. Get your mind off of the breakup. Get it off. Do something to replace that time of grieving, the time that you'll be thinking about your ex. Do something to replace that. You know, go out more often, you know, start cooking more. Don't wait for that mood to come over you. It's okay to do things that's fun, to take your mind off the pain, take your mind off the anger. Just get your mind off of your ex. Tip number three, tip number three, find emotional support. That could come in a form of great friends, great family members, a therapist, a relationship coach, anyone. Find some kind of emotional support. So when you're feeling down, when you're upset, when you're angry, when you're not feeling like yourself, you can call, text, or email this person. When you feel like, like the pain is too overwhelming in your heart and you can't handle it. You cannot do this by yourself. My number one emotional support I will suggest is seek God, right? Start praying more often. But then again, it also tells you to find wise counsel. So you need people in your life that's going to help you and direct you in the right path. Who don't want you to go out there and drink and waste your life, but they want you to get over this breakup to become a strong person, to become a great person, a bigger person. So your breakup, right? Your breakup can be a testimony to someone else trying to get through the same thing. So you have to get through this. You got to get stronger. All right. So find emotional support. Step number four, do not be a doormat. Do not be a doormat. If your ex calls you, texts you or whatever it is, don't answer. Delete, block, get rid of him or her on social media. Don't follow them. You're not their friends on social media. I'm not saying that you might befriend them in the future or whatever it is. When you're healing, you do not need to be attached to anything that's going to drain your energy, that's going to drain your power, right? That's going to take from you. You need to be focused on healing. You need to be focused on strength. You need to be focused on you. You cannot be around anything. You cannot entertain anything that's going to be toxic to your growth. You cannot. So you need to, you need to really, and I'm telling you, you need to be really and truly connected to your health, connected to yourself, connected to yourself. Do not be a doormat. Don't let them come and say, I'm sorry, I for forgive me. And you go back to that pain. You go back to that hurt because that does happen. The devil will tell you the, the most beautiful thing in your own voice to convince you that you need to go back. But no, you need to go forward. You need to start choosing you. You need to be happy. You need to know that you are in a better place now. And if healing and this process is, is where you need to be right now, then so be it. Delete block bye bye tip number five right people always say keep busy right keep busy right because when you're not busy it leaves room for you to start thinking and reminiscing and that's what you don't want to do when you're trying to heal right so you got to keep busy it could be retail therapy whatever it is go shop and splurge on yourself but find something for you to do and do it Keep your mind off of this. Go to the movies. Go out to eat more often with your friends. You know, you start your new job. Dive into your job. Stop writing. You know, like I said before, pick up a hobby. But you have to keep busy. But you can't be watching no romantic movies, no love and hip hop, none of that. Keep busy doing the right things. Tip number six. 
Don't try to mask your pain by looking for a replacement. Do not jump into a relationship knowing that you are not healed yet. Don't look for a rebound. Do you understand? Stay focused on the healing process. Stay focused on becoming a better you. Stay focused on growing a better you. Stay focused on becoming a stronger woman, a better man. This process is not easy, right? And you're not going to heal just in a day. There are going to be times when you feel like going back, but you can't. You need to be the bigger person. This time, you need to choose you. You probably broke up two or three times before, but this time is different. You're going to stop accepting the pain. You're going to stop accepting the emotional bully that this person was in your life. You need to stop accepting the same behavior from the same person over and over and over again and expecting a, a, like a different result every time. No, this person is going to stay the same forever, and you need to change. You need to choose you. You need to value yourself, love yourself, dig deep and find your self-worth and hold on to that. Don't jump into a relationship knowing that you are not prepared, knowing that you are not ready for a relationship, knowing that you could potentially hurt this person who really want love because you are not healed. Don't go in here, with, don't, don't go into the next relationship with baggage, expecting that person to help you or heal you. That's not gonna happen. You need to stay focused on your healing process because you gotta get better, you gotta get stronger. You got to start loving yourself more. You got to choose you. Tip number seven, and this goes to the other tips from before too. Don't spend too much time alone, right? Don't spend too much time alone. When you're alone, it hurts. It hurts bad because you start thinking about this person. You want to call this person. You want to text this person. You want to see what they're doing. And especially at night, right? It's crazy. At nighttime is when you want to text them the most. You want to call them the most. You want to check their social media page to see what's going on, who's commenting, who they talking to, what girl or man they posting up. That's none of your business, right? That's none of your business. You're focused on your drive. You're focused on your goals and you're focused on your healing process. Every time you go backwards, you're delaying your healing process. So I need you to stay focused. Jump on the phone with a friend. The same person who's giving you emotional support from before, jump on the phone. Hey, what's going on? I'm feeling a little down right now. Can I talk to you until I fall asleep? There's nothing wrong with that. But do not spend too much time alone. All right? You need to heal and you need to get yourself back together. Tip number eight, trust your feelings. Trust your feelings. You know this person was bad for you, right? Don't let them come back in your life and tell you sweet words and, and, and try to convince you that they'll change and you know that they didn't. Trust your feelings. You know what's right, right or wrong. This person has been messing up your life for years and you, you keep giving this person second chances after second chances. It's time to choose you. Stop going back to toxic people and a toxic relationships. If they do not see a problem with their actions, if they don't see a problem with their behavior, then, then you need to start moving on. You can't change somebody who don't want to change. You can't force somebody to change. You can't beg nobody to change. You can't tie somebody up and force them that love, this is love, and this is what you need to do. You know that love don't live there. You know that happiness don't live there. You know that joy don't live there. Trust your feelings. Trust your feelings. Tip number nine, take your time. There's no need to rush this. Everybody heals and gets better at their own time and pace. Me, it took me two years. For you, it can take you two, three, six months. But it depends on the information that you're getting. It depends on how bad do you really want to heal. Don't rush into anything. Like I said before, don't rush in and try to get a rebound. Don't rush into a next relationship. Take your time. Learn about you. Know who you are. You're single now, which means you can invest more time and gain to love yourself more. Invest more into you. What do you like? What is your likes and your dislikes? Get to know yourself better. Tip number 10, join a community with amazing, dope, crazy, beautiful people. People who's been through breakups, who's been through heartbreaks, who's, who's been through things but survived it. Because you need to be around people with testimonies. People that, that's going to make you believe in yourself. People gonna, who's going to add to your drive, you know, add to your healing process. And that's what you need. You need people around you who's going to lift you up, who's going to build you, who's going to take you to that next level. But you need to understand that this is not easy. It's not easy, but it's worth it. And you're going to heal and you're going to get better and you're going to get stronger. You're going to get wiser. Your life is going to be magnificent. In three to six months from now, I guarantee you that your heart is going to be blessed. I guarantee that your heart is going to be blessed and I'm cheering you on. I'm your biggest fan and I love you. So this is 10 steps on how to survive your first breakup in under 10 minutes.